Hi, welcome to my channel, where I share my knowledge in programming the DJI Teledrones with Python. Today, we're not going to be programming these drones, but rather, we will be discussing whether or not DJI Teledrones are going to be available for purchase any longer, or if they are being discontinued. So, the reason for this video is that I received a comment under one of my last ones on where to buy these drones. I thought, well, that's kind of weird. I thought that you could just go to the DJI site. That's where I purchased them before. So I went to the DJI site and surely enough, it says not available in your region. I'm located in the United States, so this is weird. I had to look into it more and I found an article. So let's go through this article. It actually brings a lot of things to light and hopefully we can clear some things up. So here's the article. Why is DJI closing its education division? I had no clue this was happening and Right here, this article is from January 3rd, 2024. It's now February 22nd. It's been quite some time since this came out and I have not heard about it. I guess I've been out of the loop. So let's continue and read the article. Here it says, just a few weeks ago, DJI quietly placed an announcement on several forums, essentially saying that the Teledrone programmable RoboMaster robots in both its education platform and education solutions, solutions will all stop selling at the end of the year. That doesn't sound good. So it says the Tello here, we know that. Does that include just the basic Tello? Does that include the Tello EDU? And then what about the RoboMaster TT? Let's keep reading. So we'll skip down here. And you can see this picture on their website saying suspension of sale announcement. Now I've confirmed if you go to the DJI website, it'll say out of stock for the Tello drones. Uh, the Tello EDU is not listed anymore, and the Tello Talent or the Tello TT, you click on it, it'll pop up, you know, propellers for it, but no drone will be there. So, let's continue on. So, why is DJI Education closing? It's a great question. So, they've confirmed it's shutting down, but they, they don't want to share why. Here in this article, uh, it says that Sally French of the Drone Girl reached out and spoke to them, and here's what their spokesperson told her. Currently, Tello series is still being sold in the United States and we will continue to provide technical and after sales support to their customers. We have been working hard to provide global users with drone products that meet different needs. We will continue to launch new products that are accessible, easier to use, and meet entry level or educational needs. So stay tuned. Now, she goes in this article, it goes on to mention how this could be good news. It could mean that maybe they're not going to be done making these educational drones altogether but rather reintroducing them under a new branding. Well, I guess it'd be a different drone then, but as long as it has these same core functionalities, we can program with Python and learn a lot, then I would be happy. Well, I do like my pillows though. So continuing on, it's, yeah, right here. So she says, uh, she first noted in her reporting is the promise that DJI will continue to launch new products. Again, that doesn't necessarily mean educational drones. DJI has a lot of products. They have a lot of drones. They have their whole mini series, the Mavic, the uh, M300, uh, which is really a really nice one. But uh, they also have their agri drone for agriculture. So really they, they cover a lot of domains how it is. And given they maybe don't make as much money with educational drones, see them expanding into these more expensive ones which you know require a lot more money to buy them so yeah so carrying on in this article so why is it closing yeah they suspect it's about money so there you have it um there's the chinese drone band uh we'll, well, we'll discuss i'll give you my thoughts on that in a minute here but we're going to carry it through to this last part it says get your tellers while they last so not available on the DJI site, but they are still some available on third-party retailers such as Amazon or just a Google search and find something. But like with third-party retailers, if you don't have the guarantee, it's kind of going to be broken that you can return it. You, you know, they're not going to play parent there. So what's this mean? I don't know. I wasn't quite happy with just reading this article and learning this. So I went ahead and I did some research. I tried to find the RoboMaster on the RoboMaster website and I didn't really get a direct purchase link. So 
went ahead and I reached out to the DJI representatives on their website. And I'm gonna read through this conversation now. So I started chatting with the live expert and I explained first that I heard that the Tele-EDU and Tele-Talent grounds are discontinued and they might be closing their education division down entirely. I asked if the rumors were true. It seems so given the drones are all sold out on their website and partner retailers, I explained. In response to this, well, they said hi and thanks for the query. Not a robot. So I sent a smiley face and I asked what's the word? Well, <laughs> they gotta confirm where they where I heard this from. So I went ahead and I just said that I heard from a, somebody on one of my comments that they're uh, wondering where to purchase the drones. I found through the search this issue and this article, etc. They responded. For Tello, I can confirm it is discontinued. Darn. So I ask. So Tello and all variations are discontinued, including the Tello EDU and Tello Talent drones. The response, Tello Talent, are you returning to the RoboMaster TT? I thought they were the same, but yeah. So yes, they sent me a picture and I said, yep, that's the one. Is it still being manufactured for sale? If so, it is no longer listed on the DJI site shop because I looked there and it's not. So they're gonna check on that for me. They checked and upon checking, as of now, the RoboMaster TT is still being manufactured. However, it is only available via DJI dealer. Not too sure what that means, but they did provide me with a link here to contact them. And this is the contact form. You might have seen this on the RoboMaster TT. Like if you search it, pull it up in Google. There it is. So I asked them uh, if they can confirm that whether this will be discontinued too given the trend that we're seeing. Can't confirm that, so thanks, bye, see you later. Okay, so from all this, what can we conclude? Get your tellos while you can from third-party websites. If you really want them, really like them. They're not gonna be there anymore. If you're looking to get a tello or a tello EDU, you're out of luck unless you go to those third-party sites and you're lucky enough to find one and get it. It works. And Everything's there. Now, with that being said, the RoboMaster TT Tello Talent is supposedly still avail available according to the representative. Now, you have to fill out that contact form. I'll link it in the description below so you can try it out. Um, but then again, that's, that's not a guarantee. If there's an issue with it being shipped to the US, I'm not sure. I looked into this and it shouldn't be, but um, I didn't do a super deep dive now. So no more Tellos, no Tello EDUs, but we do have the RoboMaster and all that sucks, huh? Well, it sucks because I think there's a lot you can do with these drones. I've learned a lot personally and you know, if I didn't have these drones as an outlet to practice applying machine learning and computer vision through as like my platform, or the hardware I ran it through, I don't think I really understand it as well. Um, you have to do it, things a little differently to get them to work with this drone. Now, whether it's a slight variation or a major one, whether it involves the SDK or not, you do have to learn by practicing and experimenting in order to implement what would be a standard computer vision application to work with the drone. That's why I like them a lot. They're powerful, they're little, and they're inexpensive compared to a lot of other drones. So that's how I feel about that. So to conclude, what about this drone ban we're hearing? Should we be concerned? Now, I can't speak as if I'm an expert or anything. I'm, if anything, a hobbyist. I, I was in a club at my university for drones and I've flown a lot of DJI drones. Now. The one thing I did gain from that experience is understanding how versatile the drones were and the many areas of our infrastructure in which DJI drones are used. Now, so if they ban these drones, what do I think? I don't think it's gonna work. See, the, the one core piece of infrastructure I see these DJI drones used in that I learned through my drone club experience was that law enforcement uses a lot of DJI drones. They use the mini drones and uh, 
sometimes they'll use the thermal, but the mini drones are the mini three is more inexpensive as compared to others. And I found that a lot of different law enforcement agencies employ them in the field, whether it be to find a suspect or a missing individual. That can be translated also to fire, uh, fire departments, search and rescue, etc. Now, if they ban these drones, they're really uh, hurting a lot of people and they're gonna cause a lot of problems. So what do I think? I don't think it's something to worry about, at least not right now. You're hearing it everywhere, so I'm not gonna go into it anymore. These are just my thoughts. So I hope I was able to maybe give some clarification for my research through reaching out to this representative and I'm thinking that we need to work on building a drone that we can program and uh, eliminate any concerns there. So let me know what you think. Maybe we'll think about building our own drone, hardware and all. Well, we'll have to buy the, the board somewhere uh, to get the parts and do the research, but I think it'd be really cool and possibly worth it if this continues and they don't start putting out educational drones again. So. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you've heard. That's really the best way we can all stay in the loop is communicating and networking within the community that is us interested in the drones, interested in science, etc. So please let me know what you're hearing and what your thoughts are. Now, I wish I had better news in this video, but I don't. I will be still releasing Tello drone programming videos. I've actually got another one about done. I've got a whole list of programming videos with the Tello drone lined up. So if you still wanna see those, let me know. It'll be encouraging to keep doing these, especially considering that it might be more difficult to access these drones and actually program them yourselves. Now, that's all I gotta say. Until next time, have a great day.